the state of Assam. Assam means fearless in the Ahom language. Sitting on the banks of the Brahmaputra, this state is unique in its geography, culture and biodiversity. This state is also home to a unique scientific institution. The Institute of Advanced Study in Science and Technology, IASST. Perched on the banks of the Deeper Beel, a natural lake in the western side of Guwahati, this is an autonomous research institute under the Department of Science and Technology. Ever since India attained independence, there has been an understanding that growth in the country needed to be propelled by science and technology. And so, the nation has worked at developing a network of scientific institutions spread over its length and breadth that can propel research, groundbreaking innovations and practical solutions to issues on the ground. One such institute was IASST. The origins of this institute go back to the Assam Science Society, set up to address the need for a research establishment which could focus on issues endemic to the northeast of India and to also develop science that could touch the entire nation. The institute was inaugurated on the 3rd of November 1979 by Nobel laureate Dorothy Crowfoot Hodgkin. She was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1964 for the work she did in determining biochemical structures using X-rays. The IST has a clear mandate and vision to become a center for excellence in frontier areas of research of national and international standard and creation of trained manpower of advanced scientific knowledge to enhance the scientific research as well as to cater the need of the society. The institute has made a significant contribution in terms of the quality of research publications in basic and translation research, patents, production of the trained manpower in the regions and societal service. Since the inception, the institute has done stellar work in multiple disciplines. This includes both fundamental research which has expanded the boundaries of science and applied research that has had practical applications in solving problems on the ground. At its core, the institute has five specialized programs basic and applied plasma physics, advanced material sciences, mathematical and computational sciences, biodiversity and ecosystem research and traditional knowledge-based drug development and delivery. The Institute has worked on cutting-edge research and developed fresh innovations in many of these key areas. For example, they have developed a device using a magnetic filter to generate very low temperature plasma with similar characteristics to ionospheric plasma to understand the interaction of spacecraft and satellites with surrounding plasma. In the Advanced Material Sciences section, there has been a focus on sensor development. Synthesis and simulation of materials having applications in energy and environment sectors soft materials and their properties and designing of materials including environment-friendly carbon and non-carbon based hybrid nanomaterials for biomedical applications. From high-tech science, this department also comes up with simple solutions that can touch lives. In my advanced material laboratory, we have developed a different type of material like polyelectrolytes, liquid crystalline polymers, high-value polymers, uh, different types of sensors. These high-value polyelectrolytes are useful for developing uh, high-density batteries. We have developed sensors which are useful for sensing uh, 
uh, nitro aromatic explosives and uh, of course the polluted picric acid in water bodies. We developed sensors which are useful for sensing uh, biomaterials like hemine, then vitamins and uh, uh, folic acid etc. We have already patented a uh, few application free few these materials you granted patent on polyelectrolytes. IASST is one of India's premier research institutes. The research being conducted here encompasses important collaborative projects with both national and international institutions. One such collaboration is in the health sector by the Mathematical and Computational Science Department where scientists are working on developing automatic programming by leveraging latest technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning. Scientists are creating algorithms or automated tools which will detect cancer and other fatal diseases in their early stages, thereby giving patients a higher chance of recovery. We try to attempt a particular disease and uh, we try to see how we can automate that particular disease, um, the diagnosis of that particular disease. In one of the specific words, um, areas that I have selected is cancer because particular is cancer is uh, is very much incident in northeastern region. So what we try to do is that that we are trying to develop some systems by which we can do early diagnostics and also it will be very much accurate. One of the mandates of this institute has been to focus on issues in the Northeast. The Northeastern region of India is one of the 12 mega biodiversity rich zones of the world and forms a distinctive part of the Indo Burma hotspot. It supports some of the highest bird diversities with about 850 bird species. The region is also rich in medicinal plants and many other rare and endangered plants. Knowledge of the biodiversity of this region can push our economic growth and extend the boundaries of our knowledge. Scientists at IASST are also working on finding solutions in the agriculture sector. One such product is tea which is an important cash crop for the entire northeast region of India and employs lakhs of people. But each year, the blister blight disease, a common disorder of tea bushes, causes drastic damage to tea plantations. To save the tea bushes, tea cultivators use toxic chemical-based pesticides. Scientists at IASST are studying the microbes present in the tea plant and soil to develop organic substances which have antifungal properties. These compounds also promote plant growth. Scientists are receiving feedback from different companies like Tata Tea and other small tea growers which are using their technology. IASST has also transferred this technology to a private company which is marketing their product. In India, DCGI promulgated guidelines for phytopharmaceutical drug development in 2015. In simple language, phytopharmaceuticals are herbal medicines whose efficacy is down to one or several plant substances or active ingredients. Scientists at IASST are also working on development of a phytopharmaceutical drug in collaboration with CSIR, IIIM Jammu, IBSD Imphal and Imami Limited Kolkata as the industry partner. This project will help in the discovery of new botanical drugs for unmet medical needs. It will also create additional income for farmers who can grow medicinal plants beside their regular crops. The institute also works at promoting an interest in science in the community with various scientific events, workshops and other events. 
they also have a stellar educational institution which produces a large number of PhD students and postdoctoral fellows fostering a strong scientific community for the region and for the nation. As part of the scheduled tribe village development program, the institute has adopted three villages, Bakarpara, Kallapara and Satargaon of Kamrup district. Some key interventions like mushroom cultivation, airy silk rearing, duckling distribution, king chili sapling distribution and others were done in these villages which impacted over 240 households. Since its inception, till year 2020, over 20 lakh rupees income was generated which led to the socio-economic development of tribal people of this region. The Institute of Advanced Study in Science and Technology continues to take a lead to provide innovations that not only help the society at large but take the nation to newer and greater heights. They are powered by the understanding that research and innovations are the key for development. Science and technology can push India's academic, professional and economic growth. This institution continues and will continue to touch lives, innovate and help our nation and economy to grow.